Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Just a quick unplanned video this morning on a uh, topic that came up that's very, very important to me and absolutely critical for your success in sales. By the way, if you don't know who I am, my name is John Manley, self-made, self-taught, successful uh, in the sales industry. I've been doing this for uh, about 11 years in the technology industry and have grown my income by about 2,000%. Uh, currently managing about uh, 20 salespeople and about tw over $20 million in annual revenue, uh, besides everything else that I'm working on uh, and all my different side projects. So, point of today's video, responsiveness to your customers and your vendors and your partners. How quick should you get back to them? How fast do you need to respond? Everybody has a million things going on. How do I make sure that people are not waiting on me? How do I make sure that my customers are getting the information and I'm proactively asking the questions or answering questions before they ever even think about asking the question? Why are they buying off of me in the first place? So let me ask the one question. When you, uh, I guess the way I wanna do this is reverse engineer the situation. If you send a request to a company, if you send a request to a salesperson over the internet, email, phone call, you leave them a voicemail. For one, it's annoying if you have to leave them a voicemail in the first place. You want somebody to answer you. Your request is important to you. It better be a priority to them. So when you do leave a company a request, how long do you want it to be before you hear back? I know the average internet response time is somewhere in the 40s, like 42, 44 hours. Is that acceptable? By the time somebody gets back to me 44 hours later, I've forgotten that I ever contacted them in the first place unless it's something very critical to me. And if it's that critical, I'm very, very unhappy the fact that I've waited two days to hear back on something. How about five minutes? How about 10 minutes? How about 15 minutes tops? How about a simple email back to say, hey, I'm working on this. I'll get back to you in X number of minutes here because I am on the phone, something critical did happen. Uh, you know, I'm driving, so I can't do this right now, but I will get back to you within an hour. Why do salespeople feel so self-entitled and arrogant on the fact that I'm busy, I'm distracted, I'll get back to him by the end of the day. Why should the customer have to follow up with you and ask you for an update? Everybody has a million things to do, including your customer. They didn't come to you for the sole intent of, well, maybe he'll get back to me at some point. I've asked the question, the customers I've said hey with your current vendors what's your average response rate when do they get back to you a lot of times it can range up to hopefully by the end of the week are you by the end of the week are you serious by the end of the week why not in five minutes why don't you answer your phone when somebody calls you in the first place I don't care my phone has four phone lines on it answer all four phone lines juggle do what you're supposed to do how are you supposed to get to seven figures eight figures nine figures of income how are you even supposed to get to six figures of income and hold it if you can't even bother to answer your phone, the one most important instrument and tool that you have at your disposal, and you can't even get back to people in a few seconds here? I promise you, you do not have to be technical. You do not have to be a genius. You do not have to even work 14 hours a day like I do, and I love it. What you do need to do to be successful is you need to get back to people quickly with accurate information. You need to be transparent. When they order something, you need to get back to them with tracking information before they ever ask for it. It's something out of stock. You need to tell them that it's out of stock. You don't want to surprise them. You don't want them to come in and say, hey, where is my product? Where is my shipment? They're like, oh, I don't know. Let me check and get back to you. How do you think this customer experience relates over? How would you like it if you ordered something and then three weeks later, you know, somebody like overstock.com like, oh, sorry, I thought we're, uh, we didn't do anything with it. That's pretty annoying, right? Most likely you're going to go somewhere else next time. You're not going to continue to build that snowball effect that you need in sales, that organic network of leads, referrals, um, and, and your native customers starting to buy everything through you 100% because you're responsive, you're accurate. Everybody loves cost effectiveness, but people really, really appreciate responsiveness, accuracy, and making sure that they feel that you got them. They send you a request, you take 100% ownership, you do not let it slip through the cracks no matter how busy you are, you get back to them in minutes, not hours, and you make sure they're taken care of. Again, my name is John Manley. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. By the way, please share this video with everybody that you know who is in sales. I promise you if we all work together, we can explode all of our incomes. Have a fantastic day, everyone.